question number five. So question A, they're asking for you to prove. They asked to prove 2 cot square A sine square A equals to 1 plus cos 2A. So cos 2A, we have the formula, right? So cos 2A is equals to, there are three possibilities. Either you can make it become cos square A minus sine square A, or you can make it become 1 minus 2 sine square A, or you can also make it become 2 cos square A minus 1. So we are going to try to change this so that we can find something similar to this. Okay, so we are going to do that. So we start with the left hand side. So left hand side, we have got 2 cot, sorry, 2 cot square A sine square A. So cot is also equals to cos over sine. So we can change it to cos square A over sine square A. Multiply by sine square A. And then you notice there are two signs here. So you can actually eliminate them. So when you eliminate them, you will only have 2 cos square A. So 2 cos square A, we know the property is what? Sine we know that sine square A plus cos square A equals to 1. So if you're looking for cos square A, we can write 2, 1 minus sine square A. Correct? Then, let me go down. And then, we can expand this. So uh, if you all notice something, you see this here. It's actually similar to this part, right? It's actually very similar. So we can actually use that to get our answer. So it becomes 2 minus 2 sine square A. So question is, how do we make this become this? So we can do, we can break this number. Okay, we break it to 1 plus 1. So what do you notice? This part here will be equal to cos 2a. And then the front here remains like 1 plus cos 2a. So this is the right hand side. So proven. Okay, so that's how you solve it. So the second part, they are saying what? Hence, solve this equals to 1 over 2. Then they give you the range of a and then they want in terms of pi in terms of pi okay so since they said hence that means you have to use back the from the first answer lah. so they said 2 cos sorry 2 cot square a sine square a equals to 1 over 2 correct so from here it's actually the same as the top part here lah. okay we managed to prove right we managed to prove that this is equal to this. So we can straight away use this. So that means 1 plus cos 2a equals to 1 over 2. So cos 2a equals to 1 over 2 minus 1. You get negative 1 over 2. So from here, you can find your reference angle. Okay, you just cos inverse 1 over 2. You will get your reference angle. So this one, if you use because they say they want in terms of pi so make sure it's in radian eh? so when it's in radian you will get 1 over 3 pi okay 1 over 3 pi that's your reference angle so if you want to find the angle 2a so remember cos means what cos negative is in quadrant 2 and quadrant 3 okay if you don't remember remember all signs teacher are crazy oh, sorry yeah so only part where it's negative for cos is second and third quadrant so that means in the second quadrant you must take pi minus the reference angle and the third quadrant you must take pi plus the uh, reference angle okay so that means you have pi pi is 180 yeah, by the way so pi minus 1 over 3 pi and the second one will be pi plus 1 over 3 pi 
Okay, but are you going to stop here? No, ah, uh, because this is 2a. This is not 1a, uh, this is 2a. Because it's 2a, that means it goes through two cycles. So that means on top of this answer, you have to also... Okay, wait, I'll, I'll straight away write, straight away write the answer. So pi minus 1 over 3 pi... Let me erase this first. Pi minus 1 over 3 pi, you get 2 over 3 pi. And then pi plus 1 over 3 pi, you get 4 over 3 pi. But you cannot stop here. Why? Because it is 2 pi. So, eh, sorry, 2a. 2a means there is 2 cycles. So, the, there is another 2 more values here. The third value, you're going to find based on the first value here. You're going to take this. You're going to plus another 360 degree. 360 degree means 2 pi. So, you take 2 over 3 pi plus 2 pi. So, you get 8 over 3 pi. And then the fourth value is you're going to take this plus 2 pi. So you get 10 over 3 pi. Okay. So the question is asking you to solve for A, right? So that means you have to find not 2A, you have to find A. So that means the whole thing here, you have to divide by 2. Because you got the 2 here, right? So you shift over, you have to divide. So A is equals to 1 over 3 pi. Uh, 2 over 3 pi, 4 over 3 pi, and 5 over 3 pi. So these are your answers. Alright, question B, they asked to sketch. Now, sketching, we have to do step by step. Huh? So, okay, let me write first. Our question here is, y equals to, sorry, 1 plus, 3 cos 3 over 2 a okay so we have to do step by step so first part we want to do is we want to do what is inside here okay so we know that cos okay let me draw the cos 3 over 2 a that means what 3 over 2 means one and a half cycle correct so that means your graph you know cos graph is like this this is your cos graph but because it's one and a half cycle, so you need to draw another half a cycle here. Okay, so here would be your 2 pi. Half of that would be here. So this would be your pi. Yeah. Is it? Wait, let me check. The, yeah, correct. So here is the pi. So now they said 3 in front. So 3 here. 3 means what? That means the amplitude. That means the height here is 3. And here also is negative 3. Okay, the amplitude. Huh? Now next, you got the modulus. Now because there is modulus, if I change to modulus, that means all the negative value will become positive. So that means it's going to be the bottom part here is going to come up. So it's going to be like this. Okay, this part here comes here. And then this here is the uh, same. Lah. So no difference and then you got another half here which is going to come up here okay so here is your 2 pi here is your pi okay so this is your modulus now you got one more here plus one plus one means what plus one means you're going to shift the whole graph by one unit up by one unit so that means initially here is three and then down here is negative 3, right? but no more negative 3 because you already make it positive. So you're going to shift this up. So the, the graph is going to be floating. So your answer is going to be like this. Huh? I'm going to draw fi the final answer. Final answer is going to be... Oops, sorry. 1, 2, and half. Here is pi, here is here is 4. Because why? You're moving one unit up. Okay, so that initially it was 3, so now it becomes 4. Then here initially is 0, right? So now it becomes 1. Okay, so this should be your answer. Okay, 
This one is just for me, for you all to understand lah. Okay, the final answer is this. Oh wait, I just realized something. This is supposed to be A, uh, not pi. This is A. I don't know why I wrote pi there. Anyway, so this is your answer.